Welcome to Stride University. Today we're going to be uh, taking a, a little bit of a dive into our uh, price list. So in Stride we can set up uh, different price lists for different things. So if you sell wholesale uh, you could set up a price list. Um, uh, typically we default to have um, you know to start out with one public price list but within that you can set rules and so that's what we're going to explore a little bit today uh, we'll go over creating a new price list for wholesale or for uh, specific customers that you can assign price lists to so if you have VIP customers that get a different pricing than um, your normal customers do uh, you can create that type of a price list and apply it to your um, to those uh, customers or employees but today we're just gonna be looking at how to create kind of a a sale or a discount on a on a certain product category so in order to, in order to do that uh, we're gonna go into the sales module and then we're gonna click on products and that brings up this drop down menu and we are gonna go to price lists so today we're gonna be working in the public price list and uh, what that does is you can see I've already gone ahead and created this, but I'll walk through how we're going to create this this price list today. So if I was doing this new, I would add a line and it would bring up this dialog box. So uh, we're going to bring up the dialog box. I wanted to create a, uh, a price list rule to create a sale for all of my office furniture. We're getting rid of all of our old office furniture inventory because we're bringing in new for the new year. So I'm discounting anything that's left on the floor that's in the in a certain category. So to do that, I select a discount, and then here's where you can put the different levels of discount. You can do 20%, 10%, whatever you want to do. Um, so we're doing a 20% discount on our sellable office furniture, and that's um, the conditions are down here. I apply that on my product category, and then to select that product category, I just hit the dialog box and then I can actually search through all these and get a, a view of all of the different product categories. Uh, so for us, we're going to do it for office furniture. And then you can set minimum quantities. So maybe you only want to give a 20% discount if they buy uh, two items. Well, um, that's great, but we want it to make, we and they have to buy two items before they can get that 20% discount. We're just going to set that as zero today because, you know, whatever they end up buying, they will, you know, we want them to get that discount. And then we also can set up uh, validity dates. So I want this to start today and go through the end of March. Easy peasy. Um, and then as soon as the end of March comes, the this rule will still exist but it will no longer be enforced because it's outside of the validity date so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and uh, so yeah we're good to go I'll hit save as well up here and then uh, now we're gonna go ahead and just I want to show you first off uh, what happens in your product card so to do that I'm gonna come in here and I want to find the group of uh, the category that we just discounted and so I'm gonna add a custom uh, we're actually gonna go by product category and we can group by that and then we can see all of our sellable office furniture so you'll notice in the in the card nothing changes the sales price for the cabinet with doors is still hundred and forty dollars uh, that nothing changed there um, that's kind of like your MSRP but now I I want to go to the the point of sale and show you what what happens when a customer pulls up this uh, this cabinet with doors and they want to buy it. So I'm going to hop to my point of sale, uh, open up a session real quick, and log in. And I'm going to make a new order, and I'm going to hit a cabinet with doors. And you'll see that the price that shows up for everybody here to see is is the discounted price. But when you pull that into your cart, it shows uh, the original MSRP price or the original sales price. And then it crosses that out and shows the discounted price.
price here. So that's uh, a quick way to say, oh yeah, that was on sale. We're good to go. And um, that shows there. Another thing I wanted to go do is uh, show you on the website uh, what that would look like as well. So uh, on here you can see anything that was office furniture in the office furniture category has the original sales price crossed out and then your normal sales price is in bold there. So everyone can see like, oh yeah, this has been marked down. Um, it's a good deal. So just wanted to show you that, uh, how you can do a sale uh, with a price list rule in Stride Retail. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us.